After a couple of particularly unusual years, the film industry is getting back on track, and we have finally seen the release of many longer titles, some exciting new superhero movies, big franchises are returning, bringing back many beloved characters, and from horror to animation to action, fantasy, and musical, in the next months there will be something for everybody's taste. So here are our picks for the most anticipated movies of 2023. The first highly awaited movie to reach big screens in 2023 will be Ant-Man and the Wasp of Quantumania, the third Ant-Man movie and the title which will officially open the MCU's Phase 5 on February 17. While the Quantum Realm was introduced in the previous movies, director Peyton Reed said the characters were just dipping their toes into it in the previous films and it will be a prominent concept in this new chapter as Scott and Hope, Ant-Man and the Wasp, along with Hope's parents and Scott's daughter, explore this Quantum Realm and eventually have to face Kang the Conqueror, a new and intriguing villain introduced in the Disney Plus series Loki and who is portrayed by Jonathan Majors. So What's it gonna be, Ant-Man? 2023 will be a huge year for Jonathan Majors, as he is also one of the lead characters in Creed 3, the latest film in the Rocky franchise. Although it is technically part of the Rocky saga, this will be the first movie not featuring Sylvester Stallone, who remains behind the camera as producer, as the story has been shifted over to new characters. Creed 3 will be in cinemas from March 3rd, and in this chapter, Donny Creed meets an old friend who has just served a lengthy prison sentence, and wants to prove his worth on the ring, leading to what is much more than just a simple match. I'm coming for everything. You threatening me? Just a few days after the release of Creed, we will be rushing back into theatres as another highly anticipated sequel is hitting the big screen, Shazam! Fury of the Gods. The first Shazam! movie released in 2019 received positive reviews for its fun storytelling, great visuals and what overall was a highly entertaining superhero movie. Oh hey, what's up? I'm a superhero. So fans can't wait for this 2023 chapter which follows the new adventures of Benny Batson who, upon reciting the magic word Shazam! is transformed into his adult superhero alter ego, Shazam! I just threw a truck at a dragon! I love my life. This time the enemies to fight are the Daughters of Atlas who plan on using a world destroying weapon. March 2023 will also see the return of Keanu Reeves as his beloved character of John Wick in John Wick Chapter 4 which was supposed to be released a whopping two years ago. But because of the pandemic as well as Keanu's involvement in the latest Matrix movie it will hit theatres on March 24th. Fans all over the world are both excited and a little worried for this new chapter as director Chad Stahelski has often teased a dramatic ending to the movie saying in an extremely redacted and PC manner, John may survive all this shit, but at the end of it, there's no happy ending. He's got nowhere to go. How do you fucking want me to end it? Do you think he's going to ride off in fucking sunset? He's killed 300 fucking people and he's just going to walk away. Everything's okay. He's just going to fall in love with a love interest. If you're this fucking guy, if this guy really existed, how's this guy's day going to end? He's fucked. For the rest of the life, it's just a matter of time. So who knows what will happen to the legendary hitman who in this new chapter has to face enemies all over the world. Moving on to a different type of action, Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves will bring us some great fantasy fight sequences in 2023. What's it exactly that you bring to this? I'm a planner. I make plans. This epic movie based on the beloved board game that gained even more popularity after being heavily featured in the Stranger Things saga is the story of a band of unlikely adventurers on a mission to retrieve a lost relic. Starring an amazing cast including Chris Pine, Michelle Rodriguez, Regan Jean Page, Sophia Lillis and Hugh Grant, this is a can't miss of spring 2023. Animation wise, gamers and lovers of the Super Mario world can rejoice as we're finally getting a new Super Mario Bros movie with a very interesting voice cast. Chris Pat is Mario, Anya Taylor-Joy voices Princess Peach, Charlie Day will be the the voice of Luigi, Jack Black is Bowser, Seth Rogen is Donkey Kong and Keegan-Michael Key is Toad. Wow. Brothers Mario and Luigi are on a mission to save the captured Princess Peach and every step on the way is packed with easter eggs and references for the fans of the Mario world. Another highly awaited movie is the new Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse film, the sequel to the Oscar winning Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse from 2018 in which the protagonist Miles Morales teamed up with different Spider-Mans from alternative universes. The new 2023 chapter sees the return of Gwen Stacy, Spider-Woman and a new team of spider people who are all facing a new villain. Wanna get out of here? And don't worry if you can't get enough of these animated movies, a third chapter, Beyond the Spider-Verse, is on the way in 2024. But if we're speaking of upcoming Marvel movies, we can't not mention the new Guardians of the Galaxy. This volume 3 is the final instalment in the Guardians of the Galaxy trilogy and has fans trembling as everybody's scared to see who could be killed as the first trailer teases some teary moments. Now you're just making it sad. But the trailer isn't all sad. In pure Guardians of the Galaxy style, it's also rich of humour and action, releasing on May 5. May 19 instead is the date of Fast 10, Fast X, the new Fast and Furious movies, which with a budget of $340 million is one of the most expensive films ever made. 
Money will come and go. But the most important thing in life will always be the people in this room. Well, it's all got to pay for the fancy cars and petrol and explosions and the cast. Of course, the legendary Dominic Toretto returns with Vin Diesel, along with many other famous names from the franchise, Michelle Rodriguez, John Cena, Charlize Theron, and introduces some new characters like Jason Momoa as a mysterious adversary to Dominic Toretto and Brie Larson's character only known for now as Tess. Summer of 2023 will open with Transformers Rise of the Beasts, the seventh film in the Transformers film series and which will be set in 1994 and will centre around the character of Optimus Prime, the most famous hero in the Transformers saga and leader of the Autobots. And if you're a fan of Transformers, don't worry because more on the way after the 2023 film. As a matter of fact, in February was announced that Rise of the Beasts would just be the first of three other installments. <laughs> Returning back to superhero movies, as you can tell, 2023 is going to be a huge year for the comic book movie genre, with some of the most anticipated and delayed titles finally hitting the big screen. With what is quickly reaching the title of most postponed movie ever, June 16, 2023 finally seems to be the date for the release of The Flash, based on Ezra Miller's DC character of the same name, who we already saw in the Justice League movies. What are your superpowers again? I'm rich. In the upcoming Flash movie, Barry Allen will have to travel back in time to prevent his mother's death, which leads to unintended consequences. Unfortunately, bad luck struck this film as the lead actor was involved in a string of legal complications, which lengthened the delays already caused by the pandemic, multiple director changes, and other setbacks. But the excitement is really high, especially given the fact that they've been trying to make a standalone film on The Flash since the 1980s, and this version will include both Ben Affleck and Michael Keaton's versions of The Batman. So while summer is often a slow time for cinemas, 2023 has some great titles for the season, including the return of Indiana Jones, 15 years since his last appearance in Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Harrison Ford is putting on his explorer outfit for Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny to fight off a group of Nazis, who were the enemies from the original 1981 movie Raiders of the Lost Ark. While many questioned if Ford was still fit for the role at the age of 80, the star stated, I'm Indiana Jones, when I'm gone, he's gone. Get back! This new chapter also features more famous faces, as Phoebe Waller-Bridge was introduced as a mysterious side character and Mads Mikkelsen is of course the villain. Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny is in cinemas June 30. But as I was mentioning, summer 2023 is packed with titles and just two weeks later we will see another famous franchise move into its latest instalment as Tom Cruise returns in Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1. A bit of a mouthful but we can't wait to see Ethan Hunt back in action. As always, Tom Cruise is hands on with the stunts, not only in the film but the actual introduction to the movie had him hanging off on the top of a plane because well, he's Tom Cruise. So please enjoy! And hey, let's all have a great summer! The new chapter in the spy action saga will be released on July 14th. Then moving down the calendar, July 21st is a date that has become a meme in the film-loving world as two highly anticipated but very different films will be released on that day. Christopher Nolan's Oppenheimer and the Barbie live-action movie starring Margot Robbie. Whereas the Barbie movie is the story of Barbie, portrayed by Margot Robbie and her famous boyfriend Ken is played by Ryan Gosling. Brie Larson will also return to the big screen in 2023 wearing her superhero outfit for The Marvels, which is the sequel to Captain Marvel and a continuation of the recent series Miss Marvel. The early information that we have on this new comic book movie is that the main protagonists of the previous movie and series, Carol Danvers, Kamala Khan and Monica Rambeau, begin swapping places with each other every time they use their powers and have to figure out why. Instead for DC Comics, we will see a new and interesting movie based on a much lesser known superhero, Blue Beetle, the story of Jamie Reyes, a teenager who develops superpowers passed on by an alien scarab. The film features a predominantly Latino cast with Sholo Maridueña from Cobra Kai taking on the lead role and saying he is proud to be one of the few Hispanic superheroes in Marvel or DC. This movie packed summer will come to an end on September 22nd with the release of The Expendables 4, with some new entries into the saga like 50 Cent, Megan Fox, Andy Garcia, Tony Jaa, Iko Wise, Levi Tran, as well as the returning cast members Jason Statter, Don Flundgren, Randy Couture and Sylvester Stallone. In this new action film, The Expendables are drawn into a nuclear conflict between Russia and the US. On November 3rd, we will see the sequel to Dune, one of the most popular and critically acclaimed films of 2021. Dune Part 2 will again be directed by Denis Villeneuve and will roughly cover the second part of Frank Herbert's sci-fi novel Dune. Returning cast members include Zendaya, Timothée Chalamet, Josh Brolin, Dave Bautista, Stellan Skarsgård, Javier Bardem, who will be joined by some exciting new names like Florence Pugh, Austin Butler, Lea Seydoux and Christopher Walken. The film digs deep into the life of Paul Atreides and his desire of revenge towards who destroyed his family. Timothée Chalamet will also be the protagonist of Wonka, in which he will portray the younger version of Willy Wonka, the eccentric chocolatier from the children's books and the child in the chocolate.
Chocolate Factory movies. Willy Wonka's adventures are often described through songs, and this new movie was announced to include many musical numbers, and it will follow Wonka in his earlier years, which in previous works were often hinted at being full of adventures and peculiar encounters. As every winter, the 2023 calendar is full of many exciting titles from the new Hunger Games movie, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, a new Ghostbusters movie, which will be a sequel to Ghostbusters Afterlife, huge horrors like a new Saw and a new Exorcist movie, but the year will wrap up with Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom, the highly awaited DC movie which has been delayed multiple times and which will see the return of Jason Momoa as the King of Atlantis. The film's production had entered a bit of an awkward spotlight when a cast member from the first Aquaman movie, Amber Heard, was at the centre of the huge lawsuit and trial concerning her relationship with Johnny Depp, with 1.5 million fans signing a petition to have her fired from the franchise, but the creators of the film confirmed Heard will be in the movie. Other cast members include Ben Affleck in his role of Batman, Yaya Abdul Mateen as the ruthless pirate Black Manta, and Nicole Kidman as Arthur Curry's mother. Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom will be released in cinemas on December 25th. And that's a wrap on the most exciting blockbusters being released in 2023, and we would love to hear what you're most excited to watch, so make sure to leave a comment down below. And to always be up to date on the latest news about the world of movies and series, subscribe and tap the notification bell to be the first to receive the updates. See you in the next video.